what's the real meaning of penumbra literal meaning is uh, that there is a dense core shadow at the center and the lighter shadows at the periphery this is called as the penumbra umbra penumbra these have literal meanings so a dense core shadow at the center and the peripheral lighter shadows or shadow in the eclipse the extended shadow in the eclipse uh, is sometimes referred to as penumbra so what does it mean in the cns in the cns it's related to the cerebral ischemia and cerebral infarct now consider this that here is a blood vessel and it supplies let's say this part of the brain now if this blood vessel is ruptured one would expect that the cerebral ischemia and infarct is just limited to this region but it is seen that this damage extends beyond the original ischemic zone so this extension of damage beyond the original ischemic zone is described as penumbra basically it is excitotoxicity to the brain and uh, extension of the damage beyond the uh, original ischemic zone now the neurotransmitter involved in this is the glutamate you see the pathophysiology is something like this uh, there is cerebral ischemia and in cerebral ischemia or anywhere in ischemia hypoxia first thing to be hit is the sodium potassium pump so there would be a failure of sodium potassium pump in the neuronal membranes in that region now if the sodium potassium pump fails then all the secondary active transports will also fail remember sodium uh, potassium pump is absolutely necessary to establish the sodium concentration gradient and that sodium concentration gradient is then going to drive the secondary active transports so failure of sodium potassium pump would mean failure of all the secondary active transports in that region the failure of secondary active transports uh, in that region and one must remember one must understand that glutamate reuptake from the synapses once it is released into the synapse then its clearance from the synapse and glutamate reuptake is a sodium dependent secondary active transport a sodium dependent symport or secondary active transport so now if the secondary active transports are failing that means glutamate reuptake will also fail and glutamate will accumulate glutamate accumulates in the synapses it cannot be cleared from the synapses after its release which means what glutamate is an excitatory transmitter and it is going to cause excessive excitation excessive facilitation of impulses in the nearby synapses in the nearby neurons therefore there would be excessive excitation and remember glutamate causes entry of calcium into the post synaptic neurons therefore there is going to be lot of accumulation of calcium in the post synaptic neurons resulting in their damage and thus the damage beyond the ischemic zone occurs due to the excessive accumulation of calcium resulting from excessive release or rather excessive accumulation of glutamate in the synapses that's the excitotoxicity uh, to the brain called as penumbra and extension of damage